In this episode, I want us to create an endpoint to handle GET requests. So at the top here, I just say router dot get and then the first parameter is our path and a second parameter is a callback function which have access to request and response and since we'll be handling promises in this function i wrap our function with a sync so right here i'll say a sync and then our callback function have access to request and response and we can set it to be an arrow function now in here we can get our to-dos from the database using our to-do model which we had created earlier in our models folder to-do.js and uh, exported it as to-do so in my to-dos.js I'll say to do and we have a method called find and with this method we can be able to get all the to do's that are in our database so I'll invoke this method and this will return a promise so we can await it and store this in a constant okay so right here I can say const to do's uh, I'll spell this correctly. So what we will get from to do dot find is our to dos. Uh, we can send this to the user just like this. Rest dot send to dos. And let's test whether we are getting our to dos. So I'll come to postman and we'll now perform a get request so i'll change this to get and then the endpoint remains as it is so i'll send this request and we should get our to do's from the database and there we go so now we are receiving our documents which is our to do's from the database now we can create more complex queries with this to do dot find we can chain uh, other methods to perform more complex queries now let's see our mongoose documentation here just go to mongoose.com stroke docs stroke queries and we can look at this example right here so we have performed a, a to do dot find and we included nothing inside here so when we include some properties or options in, in here, we are simply filtering our to-dos. So, for example, we can filter our to-dos depending whether they are complete or not complete, just like this. So, right here we can say uh, we pass an object and then is complete. We can set it to uh, true. So if there are no complete to-dos, we should get an empty array. But if there are complete to-dos, those to-dos are returned by this endpoint. Now, when I come to Postman and try to test this, we should get an empty array because all our is complete here is set to false. So I'll submit. And you'll see that we are getting an empty array. So this is how we perform a filter using the properties and you can include multiple properties so back in my documentation here you'll see that you can include any property that is available in the document and then you can filter using the comparison operators so for example here edge we have this comparison operators okay so you set edge to be an object instead of setting it directory to be maybe 17 you set it to an object and then you can say age are to be greater than 17 and less than 66 so we have more uh, comparison operators like uh, in here just search for mongodb comparison operators and click this option docs.mongodb and you'll get a page just like this 
and here you can see all the comparison operators that you can use you can use equal to uh, where you filter depending on equal values greater than greater than or equal to and then in matches any of the values specified in an array so in this mongoose documentation you can see that in we are passing an array and we are passing several values documents uh, that have the property likes containing vaporizing and talking are the one that will be returned and then we have more less than less than or equal to not equal to and uh, not in okay and we have more uh, query operators like the logical query operators so you can check uh, this documentation if you want to perform more complex queries and then in my mongoose documentation here we can get a certain number of documents okay so we can limit it to only 10 documents you just tap a dot limit method here and pass the number of documents that you want that to be returned you can sort so in our query here we can sort depending on the date so right here it says sort and then in brackets i include an object and i want date to be in descending order so here documents that were added last will appear first and to sort in ascending order we just include a one so old documents will be will appear first so this is sorting and then we have more you can select certain properties that you want to be returned to the client so for example we can select only the name and let's try that one out right here you can say dot select and then you pass an object and you set the name to one so this means this is truthy okay so name will be selected and then uh, let's see this last one you execute uh, a callback let's see what we get from this query we are filtering depending on whether it's complete so here we will get an empty array so let's change this to false so that we get some uh, documents and then we are setting uh, the date to be in descending order and then we are selecting only the name property so let's come to our postman and send this request one more time and you'll see that now we are getting only one property and an id so this is how you can uh, perform more complex queries and you can check on the comparison operators and also the logical operators so in my case i won't be performing any filtering at this point but later on when we add authentication we will filter our documents depending on the author or the uid okay so i remove this and then we'll sort our document using the date so that uh, the to do's that were added last will appear first and then right here we won't select any fields we will turn all the fields to the user and this is an async action so we need to wrap this in a try and catch block okay so right here i uh, will say try and i'll move this inside this try and in case of any errors i'll catch them right here so i'll say catch we have access to our error object here and we can send an error message to the client so right here i'll say res dot status and we use the status code 500 meaning that this is a server error and then we send a message right here dot send and we will get the message from error dot message uh, just like that and then we can also log the error to the console so right here i'll say console dot log uh, error dot message 
and that's it uh, this is how we can handle get requests so we use to do find you can apply some filters here if you want you can sort you can set a limit you can use the comparison or logical operators and then you send those to do's to the client if there is an error you log the error to the console or send an error to the client now let's test this uh, endpoint one more last time by performing a get request so i'll perform a get request and i am getting all my to do's so that's it for this video and in the next video we will try to delete our documents from the database so we will create an endpoint to handle delete requests